Hello, welcome to Infinity. Yes, undoing. This this is a bunch of stuff about undoing, including some just bits which I hadn't really figured out until recently, mostly because I'm lazy. So here we go. Right here we got a, a blank sheet. And uh, so let's just take a paintbrush and we'll say paint the number one here, which gives a layer here, sorry, a step here in the history. In fact, just for to make it a bit clearer, let's bring it up here. There we go. So it's on there. Then we'll pick another colour. Let's call that red. And paint number two. That's brought the second one up there. Then I'll bring up another layer, three. At any time, I can hit Control Z. And that takes us back up a step. But I can still see the bottom one there, so I can always click on that. And if I done Control Z, I could also do Control Y, which is sort of standard stuff. So anyway, let's go to the next one, which is blue. Say and do a four. There we go. OK, that's enough for now. But what we're going to do is look at these. You've got these steps here. Now watch what happens here. If I go up to here, so there's two left there, and say I'm going to paint something else in here. So I'm going to get the paintbrush and say let's do a kind of number five down here. And look what's happened here when I did this, this little thing that came up here. And that's because I clicked further back up the history and when I clicked on that this says I have remembered what you're doing before. So if I click on that, that switches back to the set I had before. And clicking this, so I got actually factory. It's a fork. It's like a little fork. You've got two routes in the road. You can go down one, which is the original one, but when you go down another side road, you've effectively gone back up the road, down a side road, but it's remembered where you went the first time. So that's kind of handy. What we can do as well is I can pick a layer like this, and that's what this little camera thing here is. You click on that, that one goes white there. And if you go down over here to the, where is it? There it is, the undo brush. What happens now if I click on that? Because that's the second one. If I paint now, it will erase things here. See, it's going to erase here anything. So I go over the one and two, which is the one and two there. So it includes the one with the camera. But other things I can just paint over and remove because effectively it's taking a copy of what is here and doing a paint. Of course it's got the undo brush here as a step here so I can literally go back up and it's still there because I'm effectively undoing the undo. I can also go further back up here so I know going before that point. Now when I paint with the undo brush it's still going to paint what's on that level there which is the number two. So here we go. There's the number two, so I can put that back there as well. Something you can do as well with this, because I can go back up here and there, there's the things again. See if I can fork things again and I can go back up to the various things that I've done. Where am I? There we go. There's a one, two, three, four. If you want to see what where you are when doing this kind of thing, if I go up to the history and the little thing up here that there I go to click on advanced, look what it's done here. It's actually shown me the step I did in that paintbrush thing step and so on. And so that if I go down here then, you know, I know if I'm going back, I'm going to the two. And it's still got the other things over here that I can still click and go to the three and the four and so on. So that's a kind of handy extra thing, but if you want to do that. If it's down here or somewhere, it'll fill up quickly because it uses more space. But if you're likely to go up, up and down, that's a useful extra tip. One more thing to do is go to document is snapshots here. So I can say I'm going to go here and say let's say add a snapshot. And you can give it a name. So I can say four because that's where it was. It's having just done a four. And I go to the paintbrush here. And they say, now oh, I'm going to put a, say a six down here. So there you can see it's the 
where I am down to the six there. And now if I want to go back to where I was afterwards, I might do another one. I can do a seven as well. There's another step and so on. If I go to the document and restore snapshot, I can just bring this back here. And there you are, I've gone back. So that's a step here, restoring snapshot. So it stepped me back to the, the picture as it was there. Of course, again, I can always go backwards from here. I haven't lost what I've just done. I just did a restore snapshot thing. So there you go. There's a whole number of things that you can do, which is useful. And of course, up here with the history, you can wind backwards here, back up right to the beginning. And so lots of undos, things that some things I'd not really made much use of. I haven't really remembered how to use them. So I hope it was useful for you. Thank you very much for watching.